What's up? Today we're going to be talking about 10 side hustles that you can do that will help make you more money in 2024. So to get started with this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I've done a whole bunch of different side hustles. I'm always interested in how I can make more money uh, by doing things online or doing side jobs, that type of thing to add to my income. And throughout the process, I have gone deep, deep into YouTube videos. I've also actually put these things in action and uh, I'm going to teach you some of the things that I've learned uh, and some of the fails and some of the wins that I've had uh, with side hustles. So the first side hustle I want to talk about is something that everyone, everyone anywhere can do and that's snow removal or yard care. So right now I'm located in Canada but snow removal and yard care can happen anywhere in the world. Snow removal and yard care in Canada pays 200 to 250 dollars per property so what a lot of people do and what i encourage people to do is try to get at multiple accounts in order to for this to turn into a real side hustle so i did some math just uh so you can kind of see the potential in snow removal because literally anybody can do it uh 40 properties if you have 40 houses at 250 dollars a house uh you'll be making ten thousand dollars a month in extra income just for your side project this is stuff that you can do on the weekend it will not interfere with your main job so keep that in mind i know when people think side hustles a lot of times they think okay online businesses they think that it's very complicated they think about amazon they think about all these things that become very complicated from the beginning of time snow removal and uh and lawn care has been a side hustle and it's been a, a great full-time job for some people as well so uh keep that in mind when you're when you're choosing your side hustle the second one i want to talk about is one that i've tried myself and that's amazon fba so basically this is where you buy product from china and then you sell it on Amazon worldwide. You can sell it just in Canada, you can sell it just in the United States, just in Australia, just in the UK, or you can have it uh, sell all over the world. So basically what you do is you purchase product from China and you have to do quite a bit of research before you choose which product. And I'm gonna teach, tell you, like I failed at this because the products that I chose were not the preferred products that the people wanted to buy. So anyway, uh, you can buy product from China and make sure you choose your products wisely because I did not. And then you store them in the Amazon warehouse. When you store them in the Amazon warehouse, uh, these products are automatically delivered to people when they place orders online. Now there's more, a little more to it than that. There's some advertising that you need to do. Uh, there's storage fees, that type of thing. And I'm not going to get into that in this video, but there are people making millions and millions of dollars on this Amazon FBA. If you do it right, make sure you do the research on it before you do it, but it can be a passive form of income for you. If you can get your products, uh, to be the preferred Amazon, uh, product. Okay. Uh, next is writing books or building websites. So building websites, that's been going on for a very long time and it's become really, really easy now to build a website. So uh, they would much prefer have a, you know, a person that knows what they're doing build that website or a young person build that website for them. And they'll pay, you know, some people will pay $10,000 for a website depending on how in-depth the website is. I don't know how much time it would take you. It doesn't take me that long to build a website now that I know how to do it. And that could be replicated and you get faster and faster at doing this. This could be something that you do on the side. Writing books is a little bit different, but with AI now, writing books has become a lot easier. Uh, <clears throat> so a lot of the ideas that you have, you can have the AI uh, do for you and you can sell those books on Amazon, or whatever you might uh, want to do with it. But it's an exciting time with all of the AI stuff happening. I know a lot of people don't like it, but if you use it to your advantage, I think that uh, you can make a lot more money um, using the AI for that. Next is blogging and vlogging, okay? Blogging is, uh, is writing articles on your website, 
uh, for a purpose, okay? Sometimes you'll sell a product at, you know, while you're uh, writing those articles, or sometimes you may just get paid by companies like Mediavine or Google AdSense, that type of thing for your monetization of the channel. Uh, you can also do affiliate marketing through your blog or vlog. That's when uh, you sell a product and you don't actually carry the product yourself. There's an affiliate company. Uh, the one I use is called CJ Affiliates. These affiliates will pay you for every time an ad is clicked or every time someone buys something from their website when they come through your website. So basically, you put the link to their site, Expedia as an example, on your website, and if a person clicks on that link and goes and buys something from Expedia, the next thing you know, you start getting checks rolling into your CJ affiliate account. At the same time, Google AdSense will be making you some money, or Mediavine, whatever, whoever you decide to choose, um, in ad revenue. So that's just them placing banner ads on your website. You get to this level only after you hit a certain amount of, uh, of daily views. So for Mediavine, for example, I know it's 25,000 um, uh, views per month, and then they monetize your website. As soon as you get monetized, you start making money. The next on our list is taking surveys. Taking surveys is something that uh, I, I realized is happening online quite a bit. There are websites that literally pay you 15 to $25 per survey that you do online. The surveys can be literally anything, uh, Viagra, whatever, whatever the survey might be, but you get paid 15 to $25 on, uh, uh, per survey. So if you have multiple surveys going at the same time, you could make a pretty good living off of filling out surveys. After this is my absolute uh, favorite. It's selling real estate, okay? So you take the real estate course, you sell one house a month, and it nets you seven to $15,000 in commission off of one property. It's the highest commission paying job in the world. So it is something that you can do on the side, but I find what happens with most people is once they get a taste for it, they go all in uh, full time, but you can do real estate on the side. The other thing you can do is flip properties, okay? Buy a property, fix a property up, and then uh, turn around and sell it. That brings me to my next thing, that's flipping items, okay? You can flip anything. You could flip an iPhone, you can flip a piano. Recently, my family is uh, shopping around for pianos and I realized that there's a huge opportunity to flip pianos online. Uh, they're hard to sell, uh, first of all, and a lot of the people, when they're moving uh, from one property to the next, they don't like to take their pianos with them. So, people are selling them online cheap, okay? So they list them at the price that they want, I go in, I offer much, much lower, I stick to my guns, and one in three of those people will give me my price, okay? So, when you do that, you turn around, you take better pictures of it, uh, and then you go and sell the piano back to somebody else at a profit, okay? Two or three hundred thousand dollar profit. It's pretty good. People also flip cars. Uh, so I, I have a cousin, he flips cars. He buys old cars and then he turns around and uh, cleans them up, uh, you know, gets all the rust off of them, that type of thing. Takes great pictures, a great description, and then he turns around and sells the vehicle. So you could buy these, uh, these things on Kijiji, you could buy them on Craigslist. It could be literally anything that can make you a profit. Uh, that's flipping items, and that's a huge, huge uh, opportunity. People also even go into Walmart clearance or clearance racks and buy items and then turn around them and flip them for a profit. So there's major opportunity there. Keep that in mind. Uh, and finally, uh, trading crypto and scalping. You can do this with the stock market as well. But trading crypto, crypto is really volatile. It's just up and down and up and down. Uh, so there are bots out there that you can automate 
to do the trades for you. So you start in at a certain level and you make the bot do the trades for you. You list your parameters and then it's done for you. So there's a big opportunity and there's people making millions of dollars on crypto scalping right now. Look it up. I researched it on YouTube and then I went and did a course on crypto scalping. Uh, I have a friend that's making a very good living off of it. So there's major, major opportunity with crypto scalping. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Sean Rampersad. My number's below. Call me if you have any questions. Thanks.